What is up, everybody? Robbie the Atomic Engineer here. Today we're in Roblox Studio. And well, um, I think it's finally time to showcase what's been going on. This is the state. This is the state of the reactor. Um, this is well, I mean, it's the reactor now. <laughs> reactor now in uh, Roblox Studio. Um, lots of new stuff. Lots of new stuff. I know you guys are seeing here. I don't think. I don't think I made a video on this turbine here. Oh, I'm just going to check my channel real quick. I did not. You guys have never seen this turbine before. Well, this is going to be a first. Um, oh, so yeah, um, clearly, that you guys have never seen a turbine before. Uh, you guys have seen the generator rotor before. Um, the rotor's been rebuilt. It looks a little bit different now. Um, yeah. Um, so I guess I'm going to start with the generator rotor because start with something you guys have seen a little bit of before. So um, everything's the same. Generator rotor, generator rotor still pretty much the same. Um, alternator rotor still pretty much the same thing. Um, however, I did find out a little bit something new about um, these types of generators. Um, the red and blue, the red and blue commutators. Um, these aren't called the commutators. Those are called the collectors. These are brushes. These are brushes. Um, basically, what the blue one is for, the blue one is to excite the field for the generator. And I guess the red one, basically hot and neutral. It's, it's the same thing as hot and neutral, just ones excite. Or, actually, no, 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 wait. Yeah, no. The, um, that's right. The blue collector, the blue collector is for exciting the field in the generator and alternator. The red collector, that is your power, that's your power out. So basically it would be, I, I, I forgot how electric motors work for a minute. Generators are the same fucking thing. Um, hot and neutral, you have your hot and neutral size on here, but you have your hot and neutral on that. Um, I don't really know how, okay, the only thing that I understand in terms of field excitement when it comes to a brushless generator, I have this 8 kilowatt generator in my garage that I recently had to replace the capacitor on. You know what, I'll do this. Doink! I'll show you guys the capacitor right now. This is the field excitement capacitor for that generator in my garage. Not this one, but um, the basic understanding that I have with when it comes to field excitement, you just have some kind of capacitance there to keep the magnetic the magnetic field basically in the generator because if you don't excite the field it can't generate its magnetic field and therefore if you don't have a magnetic field you can't generate any electricity so you need to keep the field excited so there must be a capacitor big ass capacitor or something down the line of this unless it's a self exciting unless it's a self exciting generator but uh, but yeah um that's the generator. I'm just going to show you guys the back panel breakers. And this is the turbine, or this was the turbine control panel. Um, this is the RPM. This is the RPM debug. This is the acceleration and deceleration debug. We don't talk about this button. <laughs> um, these two buttons here. You know what? You know what? I'm just going to... I'm just going to cut the bullshit. I'm just going to start the game. And I'm just going to show you guys everything. Forget the loud noise. Okay, I need to hurry up and scram the reactor. Or otherwise, the MTK is going to freak the fuck out. Yes, the, the MTK does work. You can see it updating live. Hopefully it doesn't. There it goes. This reactor does work, it does operate, it does go critical. Basically what you're seeing is neutron flux being turned into heat. <laughs> There's no Cherenkov radiation, not yet, unfortunately. Um, all the Selsons, all the Selsons do work. Um, I'm going to show you guys something cursed. Um, they're not Selsons, they're fucking tachometers. I just took my turbine tachometer and just clone that 223 times 
and assign those to the control rod position. So, so that's that, that, that's kind of that. Um, here's the turbine speed set points. There's the there's the turbine turning gear. There's turbine trip. There's your speed set points. I'm going to put it on the turning gear so you guys can see it rotate. Okay, I can see the RPM going up. Yeah, it's on the turning gear. Cool. All right. So now I'll show you guys the turbine. The whole entire rotor for the turbine is modeled, and the whole entire rotor of the turbine rotates. I am not hard capping when I say that. I am not beating around the bush. Call me a madman, but well, now you can hear the turb. Yeah, you can kind of hear the turbine rumbling a little bit. Pop up here real quick. There's a reason why there are stairs here. You can see it rotating. I have uh, little marks on the rotor. You can see it here too. So just to show you guys, just to prove to you guys that I'm not hard capping with this. I want to show you what these buttons do. First of all, let's open up the generator. You can see the generator doing its stuff. Not the smoothest right now because I got all that reactor physics in the background chopping up my ass. So there's the rotor. Ro there's the rotor. There's the generator spinning over. And let's do this. Doink, 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 doink. Let's take the casings off. Told you guys I am not hard capping. The whole rotor is modeled. The whole rotor is spinning. This is why the stairs were here. shaft in itself is a singular union um, everything else the turbine bucket assemblies or the turbine buckets individually are unions but all of these all the turbine buckets all the turbine buckets and the purple um, marks are welded to the rotor shaft uh, these are the coupling boxes by the way that's what these areas are called the coupling boxes there's a little cover that goes over these these are Technically, you can run the turbine with these open. These don't really have anything to do with holding your steam seal or steam packing. Low pressure B, here's low pressure A. spin up so I'm going to spin it up for you guys
just wanted to show you guys like I don't want to make this video too long too long but um it's still I'll do this. oh shit I think I need to get rid of the script and server script four is it this one it is this one it's the heat test this is the that, that that's the that's the heat example that we were doing or whatever um that's this is this is where it's at so far um we still have a lot of work to do a lot a lot a lot of work to do for this um shout out to my homie paprikos he also goes by Sokio, if i pronounced that right uh, i'm gonna give a link to his youtube channel in the description um he did he did all of the major coding for this project. I can't code for worth of shit. So, all of this here, all of this here, not my work. All of this here, not my work. I'm going to edit it. I, I, I edited this part. That, that used to be 40, but all of this, all of this, again, um, everything, I will say this much, everything except for, now you know what, he even, he originally did the, first two scripts for the first two buttons so he showed me how to code buttons but besides that all of the um let's see all of the selector buttons all of the control rod selsons um all of the control rods and the control rod servos all have been coded by me i could say that um uh paprico showed me how to do it and i just worked on it from there so um, it's it's a it's a 50 it's a pretty 70 set he, he's doing most of the coding so I'm not gonna take all of that credit fuck no but he definitely showed me he definitely showed me how to do stuff but um yeah it's a collaboration so yeah I just want to show you guys where we're at a little bit so far um this is where we're at of course the reactor is modular just like it was in build island and the rest of the parts are up here stuff like that i haven't worked on the coolant reflection channel covers yet um that's to do that's just a cylinder just in case i need that um yeah um hope you guys enjoyed this hope hope um hope this is something unique because I don't see anybody else doing something like this with Roblox so um it only goes up it only goes up from here guys so it's Robbie the Atomic Engineer and this is Project RBMK officially in motion.